Hello and welcome back to Lesson 5 in the tutorial series of writing a simple iPhone app using a SQLite database. Before we get started, I thought I would um, go ahead and review some of the topics covered in previous lessons. So um, I think it will help with today's lesson because my approach to today's lesson is kind of to review everything we've gone over so far and then actually execute the app and step you through with some break, put some breakpoints, show you how to put some breakpoints into the app and also display some NS log messages, which is great for um, doing any type of debugging. So um, let's first talk about the app delegate again. And I want to talk you through the scenario um, of the way the app delegate performs and then we'll go back through it again as we're stepping through the code. But again, as the user taps onto the um, Let's just go ahead and do it here. When the user taps on the uh, application, you'll see that um, the iOS takes control, loads your app into memory, and whatever else it needs to run your app. At this point, the OS has control. So iOS, this I'm pointing here with my arrow. I hope you can see it. I iPhone OS had control. Now it calls the app delegates application did finish launching, which is right here. So if we go over to the code at the beginning of the app delegate here, you've got the application did finish launching, and this is what we talked about in the previous class where we check to see if the copy of the database is needed. Um, then we um, actually initialize the arrays where the um, data will be loaded into an array for the contact table as well as the trans table. And then we go and we call the uh, class object contact. And we'll talk a little more about this, but the get initial data to display, it'll go in, a, we'll review the uh, SQL that's built into that object and it loads the data back into the contact array uh, object. Same thing for transactions. So all this is done after the the user touches the app icon. From there, the um, your code is now in control, starting with whatever is in the app, application did finish launching method, as I displayed there. Then the user taps on the home button to quit your app. And since your app has no direct way of knowing when the home button is tapped, the iPhone OS sends an application will terminate message to your app delegate, so you can clean up any of the open files, etc., before the app quits. So here again, you, you come down into the code here, and the application will terminate. And you'll see here where I go and I save all the data, um, make the commits for any data that was updated in the contact table and also in the trans table. Um, as I said before, I noticed in um, the latest iOS, for some reason, when the home buttons touched it not not every time does this method get called so to make sure if it's not going to work for all your applications but for any type of database applications i have here application does not run in background well that gets that tells the ios to even if the home button doesn't activate it it will execute this application will terminate so again as you can see here iPhone OS takes control, calls the application did finish launching, goes to the app delegate, application has control, then once they quit, press the home button, it's and then or it's killed in five seconds of idle. So anyway, that's just a little overview of how the um, app delegate works and how the iPhone OS will flow. And uh, now let's get started with doing a little um, debugging exercise. So... Again, what I'll do is I'm going to show you how the application did uh, finish launch launching with options work. So let's put a breakpoint here. It's as simple as just clicking next to the line and execute the app. As you can see, build succeeded. And we should see it come up and stop at the copy database if needed here shortly. It's still running. And all right, what's it doing here? So it's as you can see, it's loading up, and there we go. Okay, so now it stops. Over here are some buttons, so you can, as you can see down here, I can continue running and just execute the program as is, 
and it'll run till the end or I can um, step into so what I'm gonna do is step into the app and you can see as we said before it's going into the file manager and from here it drops down into the git db path expands the document directory retrieves then goes and retrieves the customer database check successful ends there and then now we're going to initialize the um, arrays where the table data will be stored and then as I said we're going to go right into the contact uh, class object and here you're passing it the git database and here you'll see where um, we're going in and getting the app delegate um, defining it here um, so that we can utilize the methods within the app delegate and here let's talk a little bit about the SQL statement we'll come back to it later but you can see that I'm doing a join here by um, I am joining two tables I'm joining I'm sorry here I'm going blind in my older age but I'm joining the I'm not actually joining two tables here I apologize I'm I'm just bringing in the contact table the transactions where we do the join and I'm doing a select on the contact bringing in just the the columns that I need and I'm ordering by the name and so as I step on through the code you can see here where I define the contact object uh, and then let's just let's let's look at that for a second the contact object so the header file of the contact object so within here you can see I've got some uh, where I'm storing the data I'm going to do as a, as a copy so we're going to copy from the database into these fields and make them available and then store it into the array um, back to the code let's go in and step into it here again I'm uh, I'm initializing with the primary key which is the ID we decided we defined earlier with the auto increment and as you can see here we just keep going through and bringing in so at this point I think I can go ahead and do it I'll right here do it in this log name step through it some more come through it we'll copying the database date of birth I mean and the height as you can see here it, um, since it's a copy we have a method for height and then it um, copies the um, value in the database into height and right here uh, see if it captured the NS log no it didn't so I apologize for that. So, um, what we can do is stop the app. We'll re execute it. We'll hit the breakpoint again. Then I'll just hit go from here. And then you can see the displays the NS log and where you can do your debugging. So, um, what we're going to do from here is I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit in the next lesson. I'm going to try to at least. I know I ramble on and I apologize, but I hope this helps. You know, I'm trying to cover everything that goes on. Once we get through these two objects, then we should be able to fly right through building the uh, interfaces and making the you know the the pages and the um, the views for the associated view controllers and how the view controllers tie back into the models and to the app delegate and to the views. Um, once this, I want to focus on the database side of it and how we bring the database data in. We do the inserts, the leads, the updates, and we take.